All right, so we're working on a mini split. I was here on about a month ago. I fixed all three drain lines because they were leaking down the wall. The back wasn't insulated, but this time there's a little piece of foam that was covering up a little tiny hole in the drain pan. It was put there by the factory, it looks like. So we're gonna seal it up. The foam gave out. So we're gonna seal it up with some silicone and some tape. See if it don't hold for them. And the refrigerant is flowing this morning, whole and free. So doing a little reclaim this morning, getting ready for a job, pulling some parts here. We've got a uh, filter dryer, refrigerant filter dryer that's going out for a job. Getting that ready to go. This is a bi-flow. You can see that it goes both ways. So we always use bi-flows much better. That way you can never get one put in incorrectly. And we're putting in a thermal expansion valve right here. This is a 410A, 2.5 to 4 ton uh, a capable thermal expansion valve. So anything 2.5 to 4 ton, this can do. So, and it's Monday. Gotta love Monday. So I'm writing down on the list everything that we're taking from the shelf so that it can be replaced. This is an F. 530-4254 or more expansion valve. All right. And looking over here this morning, it looks like we need to do a little bit. We're going to finish labeling these boxes this week here. And we need to finish labeling these boxes here. I had them pulled out earlier last week. But they got pushed back in. So we've got to finish labeling all these this week. So when Cliff comes in tomorrow, I'll go over that with him first thing. All right. This takes a 530 second bit. Okay. So we need a quarter inch, five. No, the, the rest of the <laughs> Morning, Scott. Good morning. How in the world are you? Pretty good. Getting her all cleaned up? We got any more dresses? Uh, talk to Cliff. I'm not sure where they are, but I think we do maybe have some. We got yeah. some. We can just cut two short ones out of this. Oh, okay. And then have the three. All right. Sounds good to me. And yep. then just tie one into that and another nap hook. Cool. Did you sleep good last night? Mm, slept better than usual. Okay. Good. That's all the extra drunk stuff that was in there. Oh, yeah, right here. Okay. Good. All right. Yeah, Cliff can handle putting that stuff where it goes. Good Cliff, stuff. All right. Good morning. It's Tuesday morning, 8.40, and we just finished up our team meeting uh, this morning. Uh, we had a great meeting. Cliff went over some safety things with us today. And we, one of the big things today is we're going to be getting this refrigerant put in place and stocked away for the summer. So we just got a bunch of refrigerant in and we've got some work here we're doing on a furnace for another project. And we're starting a new installation project today. It's going to be a tear out. So hopefully we'll get some coverage on that. Uh, Brian and Zach are recuperating from their fresh cinnamon rolls this morning. So they're getting ready to head out this morning for their appointments. And yipper. Hey Angel, Chandler calling. I was just calling to chat with Greg if he's available. No, I hadn't, I hadn't spoke to him today yet. No. Okay, sounds good.
Greg Chandler calling. How are you today, sir? Good, good. Hey, a while back you had quoted me a uh, refrigeration system, and then I, the guy, didn't do it right away, but then he decided to do a, he just called me the other day and he wants to do a low profile Trenton um, evaporator. It's the, there's two, uh, there's a, I guess there's a high profile, low profile side discharge, there's a low profile, there's another low profile one, but I think it's this low profile side discharge one that he wants to do. Okay. But it's the one that mounts in the center of the um, mounts in the center center of the box instead of you know on the end and the fans are in the bottom. Well, if I go to Trenton's if I if I go to Trenton's website, they call it a low profile. They call that the standard one. They call a high profile. Okay, so. All right, so ceiling hugger is what I'm looking for then. Um, and I, it says it's uh, you guys. It says it's exclusively offered by you guys on their website. Yeah. So, anyways, I was wanting to get my quote redone and updated. Do you? Yeah, I emailed it back to you. I think maybe you sent it to me already. Oh, here, I did. You did send me something. I just see it now. Let me look at this quick. Yeah, I need to. I need to have a. Yeah, I need to have you added that ceiling hugger one on instead of the standard one. Maybe it's just. Maybe it's the same price. I don't know, but I doubt it. Uh, let's see here. That one was it was a 320 TPLP 320. The actual, yeah, the actual Alder units a two and a half horsepower. Duct fresh. All right. So real quick. So the way this works is you've got these mics right here yep first thing you do is hold that button down i don't see which what this yep gotcha all right now i'm gonna have you do this one hold that button right there down now release okay and see it's going yeah so if you all right so now if you watch real close while i'm talking you can see that that green light is blinking simultaneously gotcha it means it's receiving audio okay always want to make sure it's plugged in here and here and then you just simply take and push the oh. power on button right there gotcha and then to record and while you're recording it's nice as if you have this you know button you know just like right there something like that mm-hmm right. and then while you're recording uh, you'll just take and and now you're recording right there like that no pictures of microphones to show that it's yeah so it used to have that and I don't it's not showing that let me make sure that yeah it used to show the audio right. but it doesn't anymore for some reason okay but if you're if this is plugged in this is plugged in at least I got audio yeah. there mm -hmm. you can mm -hmm. see right I can see so you should be feeding it, no right. problem okay yeah. So, and that's all you do. All right, let me, uh, let's so turn it over. I'll turn it we can off. turn everything off and let you.
right, so it's Wednesday. It's about 12.30 to 1 o'clock, and I'm on site here at a project where we're installing a new mini split. On this particular project, we're going to be setting an outdoor unit right here. These bushes right here are going to come out. We're going to put an outdoor unit right there. I have to drill through that right there. And I'm going to take you inside and show you uh, what we're doing with the indoor unit. There's the box that the ductless mini split came in. Here's the new line set that's going to be going in. Here's Dustin's setup with his, all of his tools right there. So we're going to walk in here and have a look. All right, so we've got the indoor unit hung on the wall, and we're bringing the line set and drain down right there. It's going to go up and down.
Guess you can shine a light down there. Yeah, yeah. yeah there's uh, well, that's pretty far. Yep, sure is. Right on the edge of it. <clears throat> you see it? Yep. Yeah, I see your light. Oh baby, yep, there it is, yep, okay, cool. Alright, so right there, where is it? It is right... Oh, right there. Right there. Oh, right there. Yeah, yeah right there is where we come out. Right yes. there. That was at least 12 to 13 inches, maybe more, uh, between wood and brick. Now we come down, we're on our line set. And go along here, and we'll go right through there, right through there, and up into here. So, fun stuff. All right. So let's measure and see how thick all this was. We're right at well, that's of wood, but we're right at 12 inches total right there. With wood and concrete together that we had to drill through. Craziness. So if you look right there you see where your drain comes out on the the white pipe on right. the right side. If you come over same thing on this side, left side, pull that plug out there and push it in where that drain goes, yep. you can make that drain come down and out on this side. And it's better because wherever your drain is, otherwise that pipe sits in there level yep. and it clogs up That's a lot right. faster. Yep. All right, so it's uh, Thursday evening, 6.15. Just got back here to my office in Wrens. Spent the day in the Augusta area, up early, and was at my B&I meeting at 7.15. After that, went to the office in Augusta and worked on some financials, did some things there. Went to a lunch meeting this, uh, went, went to a lunch meeting Man, I can't explain myself well. All right, so it's Friday afternoon, six o'clock. Just wrapping up my day here. Um, numerous different things I worked on today. Went over to Waynesboro, met with um, a gentleman over there that's getting ready to open up a direct primary care clinic. And we looked at a bunch of ducting in the ceiling it needs to be moved around for some exam rooms and things like that. So getting ready to get that quoted. Next, I went <clears throat> over to the church project where we're installing the mini split in the office. Checked on the progress there. Things were coming along well. Should be finishing it up yet this afternoon or this evening. And then I stopped by the uh, market where we're installing a new air conditioning system in the storage area. For the for that market so things went together well the installers were there earlier today and put the air handler in place and put the pad for the outdoor unit in place so we're getting ready to uh, start that project uh, Monday so hopefully everything will go according to plan there as well so good day kind of cloudy out trying to rain um, just wrapping up some last-minute details I uh, had a little interesting project this week where we had a furnace, an old gas furnace, that was not, or did not have doors. And we happened on the project because we did some work. We installed, uh, moved a system for the kitchen. This is going to be a restaurant in downtown Augusta. 
and we moved we moved the unit in the kitchen area and then the owner of the restaurant wanted us to work on the furnace and air conditioning system for the front part so in that process we discovered that the furnace didn't have a door or any doors and we didn't know where they were they couldn't find them somebody put an old piece of sheet metal on it didn't look didn't look good at all tried to order the doors could not order them because the furnace is too old happened to have a brand new furnace in stock was able to take the doors off of that furnace and see if they would fit the old furnace and they did so that was great so this afternoon I was working on seeing if we could order some new doors and then quote that to that owner so that he can approve that repair we did the repair already technically but we wanted to make sure it would actually work before we did that because when you put doors on a furnace you have to make sure it engages all the safety switches properly and all that so just a small example of some creative things that we can do uh, to get things to where they're safe and will function properly um, and not give problems so it's been a good week uh, we I used my sales follow-up process this week for all four of us Zach Brian myself and my dad and sent a lead to each one of them or not a lead but a proposal follow-up each day to them and included you know the amount of the proposal and the name and the phone number whatsapped it so it was a nice concise message and all I had to do was click and we closed several open proposals just because of that and I think in large part it was due to that the technician was calling back instead of just someone from the office saying hey you know I'm with geese Brex. we were out there yada yada instead it was like hey this is Zach I was at your home on you know last week Monday and I wanted to follow up on that proposal and a lot of those uh, phone calls were successful this week so I'm experimenting with a couple other things like text messaging and some of that when phone calls don't work but um, feel very pleased with that at this point we'll see how it goes next week it does require quite a bit of time on my part I'm doing all that myself at the moment so we'll see I'd like to really have that automated and there are programs out there that automate it like hatch is one that automates that process so uh, hatch will automatically follow up on your proposals but you need to pay five six hundred dollars a month and so before we went to that extreme you know to, to that extreme and and took on yet another subscription service I decided to do it this way so very pleased with that and I'm very happy that the techs are biting into and making these phone calls it's just one phone call a day so it's not much however the challenging part will be when we get into the middle of summer next week it's supposed to start warming up more than this week and then as we progress into the summer it gets warmer and hotter and you get busier you can't think as well because you're in and out of the heat and you're just like hey I want to get my work done and go home but uh, this is what you want to build your pipeline of following up with your customers and making sure that you're yes you want to close the the proposal because it helps you to generate income and make money but the ultimate is that you always have this pipeline of work to do in between your other work and you're also making sure that you're delivering the best value to your customers so you know it really is not a good idea when you do a proposal for a client and they didn't get the proposal or maybe you emailed it to them and it got buried in their inbox but by you making that phone call they're like yes I want that done because I don't want to have that problem later on so that's that's the big reason for making sure we do consistent follow-up anyways we're working at it we don't have it perfected but we are working at it and hopefully we continue to be consistent with that or we will continue to be consistent with that all right and tomorrow I meet with Rio between 1 and 3 so hopefully that will all go well I know it will and next week Monday we're working on getting a new tech into a truck so I gotta get ready for that so Monday morning 8 o'clock gotta get started on that project and that's it for Friday hey thanks so much for watching that's it for this week's video 
Click here to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click here to watch last week's video.